I'm the one that said that I wanted to keep going, just do a little Coliseum Randomizer. So let's do some Coliseum Randomizer. Looks like it's time for the action to get started for real this time. Because last time we caused a commotion here. You. Too bad for you, this elevator is off limits. Chaser Kai. Oh man, my circle of friends certainly have stories about Kai and her never ending up. The, the joke is that she's the one trainer in this area who, you con who constantly will fight you over and over and over again like a black and white trainer. Wow, I didn't really know we like. If we had the ability to complete the purification at this point in the game, we would have two Pokemon ready to be fully purified. Did not think that we'd get that close, or to that point, that quickly. And the downside about this whole randomizer thing... It's so freaking hard to get stabbed. I feel like I'm going to be relying on Shadow Rush even more than normal. So oh, fun. This is gonna be a battle that never ends. Psycho Boost. Oof. Actually, getting to see uh, something besides a defense form Deoxys. Something that can Real add. Action. At least you have the same type of attack bonus on something. Oh, that's right, and I have. Sweetin has meditate, so I could have been meditating and then shadow rushing. I think it's a little too late in the fight to worry about that now, but I mean, I look at what that Reflex is doing. It might actually be perfect because I can, like, set up while my attacks would do normally nothing, anyways, and as soon as that guard goes down, just get out here and make habit, cause chaos. Get rid of this wish cast before it can freaking refresh again. Alright. A little too soon, buddy. Like, you need to wait one more turn to do that. And unfortunately for you, I think it's too late. Body slam and shell. Oh, shoot, right. If it goes into hyper mode, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Those meditates were completely wasted, and I kind of think if I just won for Shadow Rush in the first place, we could have had this thing out of the picture by now. Oh well. I'm not too far away from a healing machine. It's a little worrisome, because that was the first trainer, and... There's going to be a lot of trainers in this place and not a healing machine to go to after each one of them. The fun of Coliseum, like... <laughs> Because there's no wild Pokemon in this game, they kind of like need to pad out the dungeon-like area somehow. Of course, have to fight you before getting it over to that healing machine. On the bright side, unlike Roller Girl over there, we fight you once and never have to worry about it again. I try to recall if there's ever a time you fight against a wild pet in Vanilla Coliseum. Because it definitely think of some interesting things that are going through with that. But again, I think my game plan is gonna. I sh one should have swapped the creep. Oh right. I guess we can't just swap away after all. Mm, actually, I don't think I've ever had an opportunity to taunt a wob effect. I guess we got some fun to be had with this. All they need to do is get smart and actually start tar targeting the Pokemon that's a little bit weaker, and that move could be a problem, but... I think this forces the Wobbuffet to struggle, because this whole gimmick is that it can counter a Miracle and do, like... It has status moves too, but it all just can't... All of, if I'm not mistaken, a Wobbuffet can't learn a single direct attacking move, so... I think we just screwed out this Wobbuffet of being able to do anything. We can definitely have some fun with that. I think it's even going to start struggling right away. 
gotta get the game props, like Cal Calcium, having taunt right from the beginning of the game. I think that's the one way to actually make it that I actually use taunt. Oh wait, this is a randomizer. Wobbuffet's moves are all randomized. Including moves that I normally can't learn. Ugh. Well, we all knew Victory Bell was <laughs> gonna get itself knocked out eventually, right? I think? I wouldn't be surprised if Shadow Rush ignored the Rockhead ability. I can't at least say that much. Oh, fun! Actually, didn't they just taunt you? Oh yeah, cause, I guess because Victory Bell fainted, it taunt doesn't matter anymore. I, Yeah, Shadow Rush ignores abilities that would normally take out recoil damage. Good to learn that now instead of later. I was thinking of like copying the Nidorinal just to have like a poison tag, because I didn't think there would be any move useful for it as is. Do I? We're right next to a healing machine. Oh, that's right. It doesn't knock it out. It just knocks me out. Of course. Why would a move so devastating that it knocks yourself out actually be a physical threat? <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you. I uh, just thinking about that. Thinking how nice it would be if I could just knock it out, even if it took out a Pokemon with me, and you just go ahead and do it, do my move for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, heal up here and save here, because we're not gonna get another save point for a long time. All right. I hope you like train. I hope you enjoy the. Well, I hope you enjoy trainer fights. I hope you enjoy the long animation in this game. With how much personality loses out the Pokemon after each one. Because we are gonna have a lot of trainer fights. Kinda wondering if I should have kept the girl off or not. I could call you right away, but I kind of want to take advantage of the fact that you're all suited up and ready to go. Mm. Poison, anger... I want to find an opportunity to use roleplay at least once. I don't think that's today, though. Yeah, actually, Vigoroth was actually a better... Uh, I'm actually not sure if I want to like, keep Victory, but like, once we get it purified, maybe. You're kidding me! You're only two levels higher than me, and you get that first try. Maybe we will have to... bring out... Soon after all. Maya, like, this is only just one, the first trainer fight we've had since just healing up the full health. And that's right, you're a multi hit move. I, it's been so long since I've actually seen you, seen you so often in Pokemon Go. Kinda forgot about that. Oh, yikes. We have only two Pokemon that can actually earn experience, and they're not even gonna be able to survive long enough to get that experience. Thank you. That actually works for me because I'm just realizing I just got obliterated by a ground type move. What am I doing having my rock type Pokemon out here? Oh my god, we're all right down to three freaking Pokemon. Mm, is two minimized enough? Mm, I, let me just see how much a Thunder Punch even does. Cause I'm a little worried. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Cool. Then my spam actually led to something. Alright. 
I might actually go for one more, because I honestly because I'm not sure if I'll get an opportunity to do so otherwise. Yes, yes, please keep missing the butter free. That would be amazing. I'm also really grateful that, like, Suicune, you are an MPB, like, using the Shadow Rush, not going to Hyper State, and... when I don't need you to... to Working, everything working out so perfectly. Do you not really have a shell Pokemon? I guess you're just the first one. I fought like... I really set myself up. So, no. Alright. At least... I have like three minimized. So... Hopefully... Our Butterfree friend here can just stay in. Do the work. Get rid of the friendly Crobat. And let Suicune take care of everything from there. Uh, Fine with is neutral. But I think it'd be more useful to like get Get so my Suicune actually goes faster than this Gligor. There's like so many freaking moves that I'm actually making use of for the first time. Hardly because I have to use them. But still kinda interesting. Like between like it being a double battle format and the randomized element of it all. Definitely making a lot more use out of moves that I would typically ignore in a main... at least in a story playthrough. Wow, that did delete squad. You're just delaying the inevitable. I'm gonna Shadow Rush you next turn. It'll probably crit. And this will all be over. And I'll have to run back to the Pokemon Center because I've taken way too much damage on... Well, run back to the healing machine, I should say. Because I've taken way too much damage on the first freaking trainer in this place. Yeah, The good part of, like, actually taking the time to edit these VODs, I can just cut that out. So at least if people are watching it on YouTube, they don't have to constantly watch me backtrack back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to the place. Here we go, cut it away. Here we go. Anomaly attack. Jump my lines a little there. I oh, will. Now I'm getting myself wondering if Hunter Galley is a or gear is a guy girl. And I don't know if you have a shadow Pokemon, but I'm just saying it'd be pretty cool if really somehow discovered that Mother Girls had a purpley aurora around it. Nah. So, as you might have seen I like drop Ponya back into the Pokemon Center because I kind of got a feeling like it's not going to get to do too much as is. Giving Persian a second chance. If I next trip back to the healing machine, because I got a feeling it's going to happen. And if that Persian's still not pulling its weight, I'm going back to Vigoroth. I was going to say, I think. Persian's already having his way back to the hmm. Really? You have Doom Desire? And I go into Hyper State right when I probably need to heal the most. Oh, right. Um, we could lame it, try to lame it out like before. Alright. Yes, 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 yes. We can work with that. Especially if I can, like... Don't attack the person again. This is fine. We can ignore. I can do Endeavor. Oh! Oh! That! I got Doom Desire mixed up with Destiny Bond. That's Doom Desire! Uh, why do you have to have Doom Desire? I don't even get to see which, which one you targeted. Oh, thank goodness! Evasion actually mattered. Soon enough. When it goes down to one more Shadow Rush. In fact, I'm not chancing it. I'm not chancing the possibility of you going into the hyper state and screwing this up. This Metagross has to go. Um, 
care that I kind of wasted the Thunder Punch there. Yeah, yeah! Oh my god, I called it! I I knew that was... I somehow called at freaking doing that. Good thing it doesn't matter, because it's out of the picture now. Lasai. I might as well send Suicune out, because it's pretty apparent that Suicune and Butterfree are, <laughs> are the only two Pokémon that I feel confident will be staying out in the team at this point. A taunting victory bell might be fun, but like I said, it's a randomizer, <laughs> and Shadow Pokémon are few and far between. We're gonna be stuck with some things that we don't want for a while. No matter how it goes. Now, excuse me, I hate to like, go back to the healing machine after every single trainer fight. But... I got some unnecessary baggage to get rid of anyways. Man, the irony of just how... freaking valuable a Butterfree has been compared to all these other things. I mean, like, at least we are not... I guess, like, the Suicune is still better than the Butterfree, but I mean, I'd be sad if that didn't work out. Especially with all the luck I would had to get the Suicune in the first place. I could have sworn that there was more Shadow Pokemon in this area, but maybe I'm thinking of the next part of the quote-unquote dungeon. I just remember there being a lot of fights, and oh boy, it's certainly living up to that expectation at the very least. A Zagun with Milk Drink. I mean, there's multiple things I could say about this, but I'm gonna just focus on the one that on the, the one that's probably most appropriate of me to say, and how sad it makes me to see that there's another healing move that I have to fight against in this randomizer, again. I mean, I would keep spamming minimize, but this battle is almost over already. Things are looking pretty peachy. This, one, this battle's going by a lot better than the past two. Gotta give it props for that. Oh cool, Payday, spam that move all you want, please. There's not enough money in this game as is. Coins scatter everywhere. Maybe I should have Maybe I should keep the Zangus alive. Oh well. Uh too late for remorse now. See you later. Use it later. Cool. Our starter is now at the same level as some of the Shadow Pokemon we have in our party. Adios, amigo. Man, it'd be nice if I could get Ponya in here to get some of that experience. What level does Ponya... I forget what level Ponya evolved with, because if I could get that Ponya up to a Rapidash... It wouldn't be so bad. It might not feel as much like dead weight. And I'll certainly take some free Great Balls. Apparently difficult books. Oh, apparently. Assuming like he's actually old enough to read, so he isn't overwhelmed by them like a kid. Um, do I keep up that lead? Yeah. I would assume that one of the trainers in here has a Shadow Pokemon gut feeling. So whichever one you has that Shadow Pokemon, I will be ready to start setting up my Minimizes and go for it. Rock Bug, right? I'm trying to think of what I would actually use here for Rock Bug type. It's like solid water. Was there really anything else? Okay, no Shadow Pokemon hanging out here either. Thankfully I have a move that literally ignores all type advantage. But you know what, since Butterfree can use more experience anyways, let's see how much this does. A decent amount, considering what it is. What's it with things knowing how to swallow? Or knowing how to swallow. I can't wait to like see what 
Claron's last move is. I feel like it's taking a while to get to it. Ooh, ooh that could have been a problem. Oh, I just realized both my Pokemon out here are rock type, so that is a problem. But doesn't Banfi's about to get knocked out anyways? Why don't I just take care of that now so I don't have to worry about it healing back all that HP? <sighs> and you're probably attacking the victory bell too. As soon as I bring it out. It's like these CPUs are psychic or something. Bye bye, Panthy. They couldn't make an anime special out of you. Cause Butterfree ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Something tells me this could be the trainer that has the Shadow Pokemon. I know I've said that for like every trainer fight up to this point. But eventually I'm gonna be right. It's been a little it's been a hot minute since like last played Calcium. You can't blame me for not having everything memorized. Oh, pardon me a sec. You have what? I mean, at least... It... Wait, what was that weird perspective freakout thing that happened? I was gonna say, at least you didn't target my Butterfree. Then I realized that's a move that hit both Pokemon. <laughs> No idea why this is what I have stuck in my head. It is kind of beyond me, you see. I am pretty happy with just how lucky I'm getting with the paralyzation. You know what? This is fine. As long as I don't get knocked out. All this will do is speed up the process of this fight. At least there's nothing stopping me from pulling off this Shadow Rush now. Squeaking's probably gonna faint if not from the recoil, but from the sandstorm, but there's not much I could do. If I I couldn't heal it without calling it out of this state. And if I called it, I was just gonna get knocked out, and that is kinda disappointing for like a Shadow Rush in hyper state with a Attack boosted two times. I just realized we could be in trouble. Okay. Fully paralyzed, good. Double per fully paralyzed, I can appreciate it. And I brought you out of 1 HP because I noticed that we were so low. It didn't even matter. She okay, attacks both. So close to the healing machine. Or I really don't want to use my healing items. There's way too many more fights later on. Body slam. Oh, I forgot. You have Dilly Squat that you can do. Just to make sure that I don't wipe out. Just to be on the safe side, let's just give you a little potion here. You can use a little more love anyways later on. Okay, I think this is the move that's... I haven't even noticed that, like, flickering between widescreen and full screen actually is showing up on the stream. Hope not. Of course you have Dragon Dance. At least there's not too much to be afraid of because you're freaking paralyzed. And about as good as gone. Glad I didn't decide to like use that like in the beginning of this fight or something like that. I just stalled the inevitable. Waste a good super potion. It's fine. You go down tonight. 
and then we can go heal up, and it'll be a-okay. see. Almost at three hours, it's been a while. It's been a while since I stream in general, and then like I do a freaking three hour stream. I'm kind of not sure, kind of a little worried I'm not going to feel up to streaming tomorrow, even though it's my usual day to stream. With how long I've been going as is, but at least I got to do the randomizer. Let's get in if it's so. Um, yeah, I'm definitely touching face door, and I'm not gonna cut away, cause that's gonna do it for now. Once I heal up, or I could probably even do it as I'm healing up. Let's find a raid target. <laughs> 